All right, before starting this video, I just want to say that there was one student I had who was connected with me on Instagram, but I deleted my Instagram. So now I completely lost contact with him and I was, you know, teaching him on Instagram calls. So John, if you are watching this video, please contact me on Discord. I don't know if your name is John. I totally forgot, but you're from Florida, right? Just contact me on Discord. I added everyone on Discord we can continue our sessions okay so that yeah that was the message for john now let's let's talk about you know things which i want to talk about so first of all i am using hyperlink yes okay so it's been so long i was not uploading any video that you know most of you guys might be thinking that i got life or something uh which is not the case actually i still have no life but this time i tried just just shut up all right for god's sake just give me a break I, i'll let you know everything but you know, this is not a hyperlink tutorial, but I want to tell you that I was tired of stupid DWM and XOR because it was so rigid. If I, you know, do something like this, suddenly, you know, everything breaks, not like completely breaks, but, you know, I can't switch from floating to tiling quickly. And it was so frustrating. So I just, I just decided to switch to hyperlink, but this is not done. You see, the CSS is in, is not perfect and it's not looking really good. I tried to add Pyball, but I don't care, guys. Okay, I'm I'm not like 16 year old kid. I'm I'm older now. All right, I I can't I can't spend my whole life configuring window managers. So right now it's working. I'll try to do more things whenever I want to. So yeah, I started using GFTY, which is actually really cute i i really like it so when i want to watch movies which i run on my raspberry pi i just use this and you know i watch i watch movies okay i accidentally press shows how to go back i don't know let's just do it again so if i want to watch movies so it's or and see i i have a huge collection of movies and i can just watch any movie for example if i want to watch like okay kaijin can do one so it runs on MPV. I want to continue it. I, I am going to talk about telecommunications also today. It's, it's so many things. I am full of emotions and talks, but first of all, I have to give you some dopamine hit. So I'm showing you some Linux stuff because that's the only thing you guys care about because we all are connected by an algorithm. Why it's not playing? What, what the fuck? Okay, I, I think it's playing. It's taking some time. My MPV is taking some time. So the thing is that um, I have been doing a lot of different things in my life and uh, I was not really connected with computers. I didn't even had any setup for a few months because, you know, I stopped about tech plate. So yeah, that's my movie setup. How the new tech. All right. So I kind of start feeling that, you know, these things like uh, Linux and all doesn't really matter much to me anymore but i like it but it's it's like sometimes i like it like for example i wrote this script navi which is just um some ai assistant kind of thing which i'll show you later someday in another video so yeah i mean those kind of things interest me when i do something new but you know repeating same you know not ai stuff in my computer it's kind of boring. Even Windows and other operating system. Did I say it Windows? Why? But it doesn't matter. Yeah, basically all, all, all the other operating systems like FreeBSD are also thinking about doing something like AI. Not really. Okay, Windows is trying to integrate Cortana and I want to, you know, as Linux enthusiasts, we need to keep things parallel. Okay. So I was reading a lot of Buddhism philosophy too uh, on this website, Dhamma Talks, which is, okay, have you guys ever tried like put this philosophy? It's it's crazy. Okay, so it's a cute website. I really like the layout of this website. Uh, it have like books, beginner books, which is I am not selling you this stuff. If you are interested, you can study. So I am right now at the Wings to Awakening, which is kind of like a serious. Okay, this is really serious stuff, not for beginners. Okay, so all of this is like you talking to a girl about Taylor Swift, and this is like you fucking her on a bed. So I'm quite excited about uh, learning all this stuff because I'm bored. But let's let's talk about you guys first of all. So I I want to say that I feel like that I reached to a stage where 
the only true friends I got in my life is right now you guys. And I never acknowledge this because I find it like this is really lame. And because every time I talk to someone who watches my channel, truly understands me. Okay, which which kind of sucks. Like I don't want to. Okay, this is not the kind of life I want to live. Yeah, let me install LF. I don't have LF right now. So every time, you know, some package pop in my head, I just install it. Uh, all right. So why the hell I I feel connected to you guys? It, this is this is so bad. This is uh, no, you you can't you can't be my friend. In fact, the fact that every time I try to escape the same old uh, routine of this Linux channel and all this computer stuff, I always ended up in the same uh, stuff again, which which is not. I mean, why, the, why can't, okay, this time I, I tried, okay, I went to this place, um, it's somewhere in Northeast, and this is the second time I went, and this time what I tried to do is something, okay, primitive life, I wanted to get a primitive life, but uh, the issue is that there is no internet in that area, so I thought maybe I can get satellite internet someday, but in India, there is no satellite internet right now, so... So I tried to learn a lot about telecommunication and I contacted Airtel Business, which is like a really big telecommunication brand here in India service. So they tried to provide me lease line internet, which is basically like lease line internet is like you getting internet directly from ISP servers. There is no distribution. You're not a part of chain of distribution, which they have. So they tried to provide internet um, there for me, but they failed. They are still trying actually. So I learned about things like how to get internet off grid, and I learned about you know point to point internet and many other stuff. Went to YouTube, did a lot of studies. So right now I was looking that okay, so if if you have if you get internet through a cell tower, which is the worst internet quality you can get, not a fiber connection. So there is this village point them which have some decent cell internet which you get from your mobile phone or you know like signals so if i get maximum internet here by you know maximizing the strength of the signal by using boosters or something i can create a point to point so there are dev okay so let me show you okay there is a simulation error right now i don't know why uh let's just try to drag it okay so Basically, if you have a line of sight, which basically means there is nothing in between all these two points, like for right now, you can see there is only one link obstructed. I don't know. It's basically like some mountains are coming here. That's why it's a red line. If I move it a little bit, so it will be blue. Yeah, this is blue. So there is no mountain in line of sight. Okay, there is. Like, what? Okay, my point is that if you get a good line of sight, you can, so if you have your house with 20 Mbps connection and you have in 15 kilometer away, you, you got a village where there is no internet connectivity, you can just point, like send your internet there if there is a line of sight. So 15 kilometer is decent. Some people have made a record of 30 kilometer, I guess. Uh, you can look at, look at the internet. So... I was learning a lot about how um, BTS towers work because the only, okay, not this, oh, BTS towers, okay. So BTS are like the, okay, you got it, okay, it's like telecommunication tower. So I, I went to that place, that off-grid place, and I studied a lot of uh, uh, BTS towers, and I worked with Airtel engineers trying to understand how we can get internet there. And it looks like the entire town had a really slow internet because they had really low bandwidth capacity of the, that BTS tower. So which means that entire town was getting like every person was getting 320 kbps internet. So if I want to get 10 mbps, it means that they need to cut down everyone's internet, which is not, it's not possible. Okay, so this was said. Uh, I got a news, it's something which nobody knows, but I know that one web, which is the, uh, you know, satellite internet thing, which they are, okay, had done testing in India and it is ready, but sadly, they are not 
releasing right now. They they might release in by the end of this year. I don't know. I, I have no idea. So Starlink is ready. You can go to Starlink website. Starlink is like a really good internet connection uh, directly. Like the satellites are already in the sky, but it is not providing internet in India right now. So I, I'm, I have thought about Starlink global plan. So if I can somehow import Starlink from US or some other country and I try to run it here, well, it won't work. I don't think it will work. Okay, India government will block or Starlink will block you. This is my situation. I am not able to get internet off grid, uh, the place of my choice. And yeah, my experience was great. I went to, okay guys, let me tell you. You have no idea what primitive life is like. You might have not uh, no idea, but let me tell you, like you guys are way too away from the grass. Okay. Uh, you, you, you think like, you talk to people on Discord groups and you think you're normal. But once you start, you know, getting, uh, get like, it, once you start talking to people who are actually normal, they will feel quite abnormal. And yeah, I'm, I'm calling you abnormal is because uh, it's basically like you, you do not belong to masses basically. Okay, so I'll, I'll share my thoughts later with you. This is it for this video. There are a lot of cool stuff. Hyperland is good. I'm trying to make it as minimal as possible. It's sad to use Waybar for something as dull as this. I want to make it exactly like DWM. My whole point is I just want to get the same environment, but with little bit quality. Like right now I can do stuff like this, which is not the case with DWM. DWM was quite static and uh, Hyperland is Hyperland. All right.